Hey guys, this is Pooja and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to paint some simple, cute wildflowers and I'm going to show this process to you in detail. So without further ado, let's get started. I first mixed a wash of pink on my palette. It's a very, very light pink mixed with a bit of naphthamide maroon from Daniel Smith. So I'm starting to make these really small brush strokes, petal like brush strokes using my size 4 round brush. I just want to make this a long stem with lots of petals stacked on top of each other. I'm going to mix a lot of different values of the same color so now I'm using a darker mix of naphthamide maroon. And then after a few darker petals I'm going to water it down, make some random strokes draw some petals and make it a long stalk. Mix your own shades and try a couple of values, some darker values, some lighter values, so that will add a definition and a character to your stalk. And of course it won't look as flat. I'm mixing some sap green on my palette and then adding a long stem to this stalk. Keep your stems really thin. We do not want thick stems for really delicate flowers. So make sure that your strokes are really light handed. Make some markings on the stems to make your stem look slightly realistic. I'm adding another stem coming out of the earlier stem using the same mix of colors I used earlier I'm going to draw some petals again make a nice stalk use the same values that I mixed earlier some lighter values some darker values and make those petal like strokes This is a very easy tutorial to follow and you don't really need to practice anything beforehand. Just use a small size round brush to make these really easy flowing and effortless strokes with your brush. I'm just going back and adding some details to the stalks. Okay, so our first wildflower stem is ready. Let's move on to the second one. For this one, I mixed a light wash of Violet. It's, um, the shade name is Carbazel Violet from Daniel Smith. And I'm making these really small, tiny uh, brush markings which are very similar to carnation flowers. So just putting the placement of my flowers in place. Using a very light wash of Violet. Then adding a darker mix to give it a definition. And I'm just simply going to let my darker mix merge with the lighter wash. Mixing a lighter wash again and drawing a third flower just below the first two. Repeating the exact same steps. Adding a darker mix, letting it merge with the light wash. Mixing some green now and adding stems. I'm making sure to keep the stems really thin and long, adding a darker value of green, that's Green Appetite Genuine from Daniel Smith. If you watch my videos regularly, by now you should know that this is my favorite shade of green. 
adding some leaves near the stem. Moving on, let's go ahead and draw our third stem. I'm going to mix a very light wash of pink. And then I'm just going to fill up this white space by drawing a very small stem. So I'm making these small strokes with my brush. I'm using a very light wash of pink and just trying to show these uh, blooms that are really soft and appearing sideways. So I'm adding a stem in the center, connecting the flowers to the stem and letting my green color merge into this light wash. I'm not stressing too much to get the shape of the petals perfect. You know, letting my brush make the strokes as I'm moving it. So, not making anything defined here. Just trying to put some brush marks on the paper. And then connecting it to the stem again. A darker mix of green adding some small leaves Okay, let's go ahead and mix a lighter shade of pink again. And I'm going to draw basic five petal flowers using a very, very light watery wash. There is some white space below the first flower so I'm just going to add one more to cover up that space. Keeping the wash really light. Mixing a slightly darker value. And then just adding it near the centers of all the flowers. I want the darker value also to be very light. So I just went back and rinsed my brush and trying to again place the slightly darker mix near the center and merging it off. Just merging all the colors with a clean brush. Mixing some sap cream and adding stems.
let's add some leaves. I'm taking a lighter mix of yellow on my brush and just going to make these round flower heads on the top similar to marigold flowers but not really defining the shape or the petals of this flower I'm just making random brush marks in a circular shape the idea here is to not paint anything specific or too realistic but just keeping it easy and flowy and we're just going to paint the flowers that come on top of our head I'm also using a, a reference that I found on Pinterest but I'm just loosely uh, getting inspired by that piece I don't really want to follow exact flower in this piece but I'm just picking up the colors the values and the overall feel of this photograph that I found on Pinterest so I'm just trying to eventually paint what's in my head so this particular yellow flower is not even in the reference picture but I thought with the violets and the pinks a slight hint of yellow would look really nice so that's exactly how I go ahead and paint my flowers most of the times I do pick up a lot of reference photos uh, you know on Pinterest and see if I find anything interesting in that piece but I mostly end up adding a lot of my own uh, own compositions and make it my own so even if you have a reference photograph it's completely okay to you know change the style of uh, of the overall painting and just make it your own by adding your own elements which you feel are right so don't worry about uh, you know letting yourself loose and just experimenting with colors and styles using a darker mix of yellow I'm just adding some more petals around this flower and now I'm using a darker mix of permanent yellow deep and white it's a gouache mix and I'm going to use this to paint the centers of my two five petal flowers I'm just dabbing this color in the center of both of the flowers and then add some stamens and dots around it and it instantly pops out and looks quite adorable I'm using the permanent yellow deep straight from my tube and just adding a ring of dots around the center adding a light hint of brown around the centers to make it pop adding some brown to the yellow wildflowers to show some shadows and highlights I'm also adding some darker petals on the purple flowers that we painted earlier just to give it a character and it instantly starts to look a lot more defined than earlier and that's it if you create this piece don't forget to tag me and share it on Instagram so I can share it with everyone in my Instagram stories and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more such fun videos. I will see you again in my next video. Until then, keep creating.